Hi guys, right, it's um, Saturday the 8th of the 1st, 2020, and I promised some people pictures of, um, well, I've got videos that I'm going to show you some pictures of when I was bitten by this four-year old spider. So, right, what well, we're going to, these are pretty graphic, so if you, if you've got a, like a, a stomach problem or if you have like any heart conditions or you get nervous it easily or anything like that don't look at these pictures okay right so i'm going to go to the first one which is um, so the phone's going to be wobbling about a bit right so here we go we're going to the first one right so this is when i was bitten this is the this is the picture i sent in an email to my two bosses um this was three days after I'd been bitten. I was bitten here and here, right? So this was in September 2016. Um, and I was actually in hospital and the spider had come in the window, obviously. It was a balmy night. Um, we'd open the window and you can't stop a spider coming in the window. I woke up, um, my feet were up on the chair. I was visiting my son um, and I'd fell asleep. And I woke up, the spider was there. I just shook my foot lightly. And it bit me the first time, and then um, I went to brush it off, and then obviously it bit me again. Right, so, right, now I'm going to try and show you a few other pictures. Oh, we've gone off it, hang on. Just hang on. Ticky -tick boo guys. Right, let's get back to it. It's labelled spider foot of view. Right, so, this picture... This picture was taken after, um, right, we'd had a, three days after um, I went to the hospital and they sliced into my foot. They didn't actually give me any pain relief while they were slicing into my foot. I've got a video of this um, and this is what the result of that was. So as you can see, it's all like, it's just a mess. It was, it, it was pain. I can't even describe the pain. I was delirious, I was hallucinating, but yet they didn't take me into hospital and I was given no antivenom as such. I was given antibiotics at first. Um, so they, they put these things, these patch things on the outside and as you can see it drew, um, it can draw in fluid out and the next one is underneath, can you believe it? Yes, it was drawing fluid from underneath. There was a hole right through my foot from what a spider had actually done. So let's go to um, a couple of real scary ones. Right, this was a scary one, I'd say. So this was when it was like, the, I mean, the nurses were cleaning it every day. And I've got more pictures of, like, obviously, of when I've got a full diary from over a year maybe um this one's pretty scary um this was a few weeks after when um obviously there was all kinds of tissue hanging out and, and I, I i can't even explain the pain i was in because i was passing out constantly and i was in and out of consciousness a lot of the time and the antibiotics weren't doing anything um so they just kept on giving me strong ones which didn't do anything and then they finally on week Twelve and a half brought me into hospital, and I was given medication. And let's have a look. Trying to find the best ones for the phone. I mean, here's I've got right. This this shows the level of like you can see the circulation issue in the foot. This is um. About a year and a half after, to be honest, when is it a year and a half? No, I'd say about a year because it was starting to heal a lot better, and we were dotting the area to make sure it didn't go any because it was infected there. So they dotted it to make sure the infection didn't spread any further. Um, let's have a look. Do you know I'm supposed to be at a party tonight? I'm supposed to be at the Marshall party for all of us. Now I'm absolutely gutted. Wish I was going. But yeah, um, various things happened in hospital. Oh, um, I also have the condition HS, which I've spoke to you about. And um, what happens when they take an abscess out is this, guys. So this is pretty graphic. Yeah, it is. 
So, right, this is my arm, right, top of my arm, so, um, I, like I say, if you don't like anything gory, don't look at it. So, here we go, this is, like, after an operation of having an, an abscess removed, so what they do is, they pack the area with a bandage, and then they cover it over, and, um, it's expected to heal from the inside out, and that's mainly why I've got lots of open wounds, and I'm waiting for an armpit removal, as you know. So as soon as we get that sorted, I shall let you know and I shall keep you all informed. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious, serious situation with the foot. Let me get one where it was really, like, really infected, so you can see. Um, it's pretty nasty, really, isn't it? Saying that, look at, look at it, it's where it's seriously infected. And it's on, man. Oh god, it just goes there. Ooh, on fire there as well. Oh, there is a bit where it's like tissue hanging out, and cartilage and stuff. I love this. Oh, check this one out. Right, so as you can see, right, tissue, oh, oh god, veins, everything. It's just horrendous. And as you, you can imagine, the pain it was shocking. So, guys, that was all from a false widow spider bite. I have a nice little scar now, which I'll show you. Um, I go to a lot of occupational therapy. I see specialists um, for pain because the pain in it now is still as bad as, uh, you know, about, I'd say it's not as bad as when it happened, but because it's nerve pain, it's never ending. It just doesn't go. All right, and this is what the scar looks like now. This is in.